In comes I, Old King Christmas. Welcome, a welcome not. Sometimes cold and sometimes hot. I hope that Old King Christmas will never be forgot. But Christmas comes but once a year. And when it does, it brings good cheer. A pocket full of pennies and a cellar full of beer. Roast beef, plum puddings, and mince pies. Who likes that more than I? Room, room, brave gallants, room. Pray give us room to rhyme. We've come to show activity this merry Christmas time. Activity of youth. An activity of age. The like was never seen on any common stage. A room, a room to let us in. For we are not of the ragged sort, but of the royal trim. We are the merry actors that travel the streets. We are the merry actors that fight for our means. We are the merry actors that show pleasant play. So step in, St. George the Champion, and show the way. In comes I, St. George, that noble champion bold. And with my trusty broadsword, I won ten thousand pounds in gold. I fought the fiery dragon and brought him to the slaughter. And by that means I won the king of Egypt's daughter. Many bloody deeds and wondrous things have I known. I made the tyrants tremble on their throne. I've searched this world all around and around and a man to equal me. I've never found. In comes I, a noble prince, born of high renown. Soon will I fetch his lofty courage down. I am a valiant soldier, Prince of Paradine by name, with sword and buckler by my side. I come to win more fame. And to fight with me, I see thou art not able. With my trusty sword, I soon will thee disable. Disable? Disable? It lies not within thy power. For with my glittering sword and spear, I soon shall be devour. <laughs> the stand back, Prince. And do not be so hot, for here thou knowest not what thou hast got. For I shall tame thy bride, and put thine anger to a side, or I will inch thee, pinch thee, small as flies, send thee overseas to make mince pies. Mince pies hot, mince pies cold. I'll send thee to the devil ere thou art three days old. So stand back, prince, and let no more be said. For if I raise my sword again, I'll surely break thy head. How oh, canst thou break my head? My head is made of iron. My body is made of steel. My hands and feet are knuckle bone. I challenge thee to yield. One, mine is the victory. Saint George for England and sweet liberty. Yay! No man on earth can conquer paradise. <laughs> See there, he's dead. 
And now the victory's mine! Behold, behold what I have done! I cut him down like the evening sun. In comes I. Come on, Jack. I bear the very nation on my back. No lower than you all. On me you must depend. The spire must on the footstone stand when all is at an end. I dig the ditches, shear the sheep, the fishes draw from watery deep. In dusty hole, I hew the coal, and yet I toil while others sleep. I plough, I sow, I reap, I mow. To labour all my life I go. Who keeps you all at hearth and hall? But come and jack, I pay for all. Hey. Now enough, for I am come, as plainly doth appear, to seek that noble knight, St. George, our son and only heir. He is slain. Slain? Who did him slay? Who did him kill and on the ground his precious blood did spill? I did him slay. I did him kill. And on the ground his worthless blood did spill. He gave me challenge. How could I it deny? How high he was, now see how low he lies. Oh, curse thou, Prince! <laughs> see what thou hast done? Thou hast ruined us and killed our only son. Here he lies in the presence of you all. I'll love him with for a doctor call. A doctor! A doctor, is there a doctor to be found to cure this dead man of his wounds? A doctor, ten pounds for a doctor. <laughs> Fifteen for a carpenter. <laughs> Twenty pounds to come, I say. Twenty-five to stop away. Thirty pounds to come, I pray. Thirty pounds at last I hear. <laughs> In comes I, a doctor, good and rare. I've travelled this country far and near. Are you the doctor? Aye, right. that you may plainly see. <laughs> Give me arch! An activity. Well, what's your fee to cure this man? 29.37 euros is my fee. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've been honest man, I'll take no but 31 from thee. He'd be wondrous cunning if he gets any credit at all. <laughs> and how far have you travelled in doctorship? Italy. Italy. I, Germany, France and Spain. Spain, and now I'm returned to cure the diseases of old England again. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> diseases can you cure? The itch, the pox, the palsy, and the gout. The pains within, the pains without. Why? If a man's got 19 devils in his skull, I'll cast 20 of them out. I have in my pocket crutches for lame ducks, spectacles for blind bumblebees, rising house prices for the middle classes, falling house prices for the working classes, and plastic for broken backed mice, arm lotions and potions and fine notions that have carried my fame over five oceans. Well then, Doctor, show us now your skills. 
Bring back St. George to cure our nation's ills. With Esclapius staff, his life I'll save. St. George shall not go to his grave. So, since you're not quite slain, right up St. George and fight again. is wounded, my heart confounded, to be struck from seven senses into seven score, is a thing that ne'er happened in old England before. Once I was dead, but now I am alive! Yay! Blessed be the doctor who brought me to revive! We'll all join hands and never fight again. We'll sweep away the old year and bring the new year in. Ladies and gentlemen, our play is ended. Our collecting box is recommended. With its help, the church roof will soon be mended. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Out in full sail, plows the wide ocean through many a gale to bring you wassail, 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 and joy come to our jolly wassail. The Ratchet Mummers you will have seen each Boxing Day here on Datchet Green. But now that Corona stalks the scene, we invite you to watch us on your screen. As every year at Christmas is past, now it's time to introduce our cast. Open your laptops and let us in. We hope your favours we shall win. Give us your time to hear our history and you will see a pageant of great mystery. We'll tell a story of saints and sinners. Just wait and see who'll be the winners. Whether I rise or whether I fall, I'll do my best to please you all. In comes I, old Helsey bub, or mischief bent, to disrupt this foolish party, tis my sworn intent. In comes I, old Father Christmas. Be I welcome, or be I not? I hope Father Christmas will never be forgot. Now my reindeer are on furlough. My elves are on short time. But we hope to bring some cheer this Covid Christmas time. So, it's time to start the play. Come in, the King of Egypt. Clear the way. Now I, the King of Egypt, comes to the fore to tell you all about St. George, my son-in-law. For about to be shown all on your screen is the greatest battle ever seen between St. George, whom we all love, and that wicked devil, old Helzebub. Step in, St. George, and boldly do thy part, that all the people here may see thy wondrous art. In comes I, the great St. George, a worthy champion bold. For with my sword and spear, I won three crowns of gold. I fought the fiery dragon and led him to the slaughter. And by that means, I won the king of Egypt's daughter. When will Helzebub before me stand, so I can cut him up with my courageous hand? Just like Trump, he's far too boastful. Claims he's won, but his claim is woeful. In comes I, old Helzebub, and over my shoulder I carry a club. And on my head I wear a pan To ward off blows from beast or man I slay my foes and cut them up as small as flies <laughs> Then send them to Greg's to make into mince pies <laughs> Where is this mighty champion they call Great St George?
It's the vanquished knights like him my sword was forged. Battle to battle on thee I call, to see who on this ground shall fall. Battle to battle to thee I say, to see who on this ground shall lay. <laughs> Here am I, the great Saint George, in shining armour bright. I am a famous champion bold, likewise a worthy knight. In comes I, the giant Turpin, six foot three from head to shin. All the nations round do tremble at my sight. No lord or champion long with me would fight. Who is this Saint George who breaks to such a high degree? I swear there's one can do as well as he. Who's this giant turnip that dares look me in the face? With my sword and spear, I'll soon away him chase. Giant turnip! Giant turnip! Who dares to call me a turnip? His body into tiny parts I'll rip. So battle to battle on thee I call, to see who on this ground shall fall. So, for the second time today, battle to battle, to thee I say, to see who on this ground shall lay. Ha! Ha! Ah! Ah! Oh, pardon me, St. George. Pardon me, I crave. Pardon me this day, and I shall be thy slave. No pardon shall thou have, you knave, while I have foot to stand. Rise up and fight again, sword in hand. Yeah! Ha! We need a noble doctor to play his part. St. George is killed all through the heart, all through the heart and through the knee. Who will save this champion? I solemnly do plead. Is there a doctor in the house or near Eddie close at hand to heal and deep mortal wound and help this hero stand? Oh yes, a doctor can be found already near at hand to cure a deep and deadly wound and make this um, champion stand. Now of your skills, we must be sure. So tell me, Doc, what can you cure? Thanks to the miracles of Zoom, I cure diseases right from my room. I've deleted delusions in Datchet. I've tweeted away twinges in Twickenham. I've healed the ailing in healing. And I've googled away gallstones in Greenford. I've even cured wombles in Windsor. But the wombles are in Wimbledon. They are now. And what is your fee? One hundred pounds is my usual fee. But as he's a saint, I'll cure for three. So, noble doctor. Earn your fee. I prescribe these expensive pills. They're guaranteed to cure all ills. That's a fearsome remedy. How will you get it into his body? Now, is there a lady in this place? Who can raise this man with her fond embrace? The final hope is my Allah campaign. Stockpile for when Brexit we obtain. Here, George, open up your flip flop and take a little drip drop. Now, St. George, rise up 
and fight again. I have the cure for every pain. I eventually brought St. George to life again. Yay! Yay! So now our sport is almost ended. This our charity is much commended. Five or six pounds is not excess to show you which support our NHS. In comes I, little Johnny Jack with all my family on my back. My family are large, but I'm small. But I'm the best man of them all. I know a little tune, so I'll take this chance. Come on everyone, we'll have ourselves a merry dance. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Pockets of money and a cellar of beer to bring you wassail, wassail, wassail. And joy come to our jolly wassail.